Hi everyone, this is Isua. Now Isua is a 3.7 to 3.8 billion year old crystal from Greenland. So it's in the world's oldest and first form crystals. So with that, it carries an incredible amount of knowledge and transformational energies. Now this is not for the faint hearted or the most sensitive of souls because this is gonna trigger rapid transformation. Not overnight, but it is going to bring you, um, bring all the old layers up um, to the surface it brings your subconscious thoughts blocks and attachments up to the surface for release and will push you forward it's going to make you release um, things in your environment and surroundings that just don't serve you any longer and push you forward um, whether you're ready or not um, the end result will be something you truly love um, but just be aware that um, Often we're not ready to change, we often resist change, so that if you're really feeling um, really, really resistant, this stone um, is not gonna overly fight you for it, but it will push you with that intention. Now, the other thing with Isua um, is it does um, trigger some level of astral travel, simply because it allows the soul to retrieve um, its soul fragments and also retrieve ancient knowledge from past lives. So this is a really good stone if you are looking at igniting past life knowledge, talents and abilities and you want to bring them forward. But as I mentioned, this is really not for the faint hearted. If you place Isura on your third eye, it will also help you assimilate ancient energies and knowledge from past lives um, to the present. So this stone can be overwhelming um, for many at first. Um, but it is particularly good. The crystal, the antidote that I feel is really um, beneficial if you're feeling this is going too fast, too, um, too much, too, too fast um, for you, is to less your tourmalated quartz grounds, dissipates any excess energies, um, but it also balances the crown, the root, and the earth star chakras. So anything that you've absorbed that's too much, and it will also work for any energies. Um, a lot of us recently have really felt the lunar eclipse energies very strongly um, following the partial solar eclipse. And if you're somebody who's affected by that and also things like solar flares, at minimum, I would recommend that you be working with a um, smoky celestial quartz. Um, but celestial tourmalated quartz is another really nice one. Um, working in a different way, of course, the smoky quartz um, elestials are only on the grounding level. The elestial um, tourmalated quartz is balancing the information you receive from the crown, pulling it all the way through the body and down into the root. So you have the yin yang balance with them. Um, if you are interested in those, I still have a couple left. Um, they are running very, very low and they are really rare and hard to, to come across. Thank you very much for watching and um, I'm happy to answer any questions if you have any. Um, many blessings.